In physics we analyze the motion of objects, determining displacement, velocity and acceleration. We can use this information to figure out what forces are acting on these objects. For example, the launch of a rocket or the space shuttle in this archive footage. You can actually determine the displacement as a function of time, using a suitable video of the motion of the object you're interested in. In this video I'll explain what the principles are behind such a video analysis. First I'll explain how to determine the time taken. Now measuring time taken from a video is possible because a video actually is a set of clips which are shown one after the other in a short time. So a video consists of different frames. And the frame rate is the number of frames shown each second. And for the frame rate we use the abbreviation FPS. Now if the frame rate is 30, there are 30 frames each second. This means that the time between two frames is 1 over 30 equals 0 0.033 seconds. You can also measure the displacement from your video. You need to use a no known size of an object or add a ruler or a measuring tape, which would give you a scale. Now the football in the fourth frame here has a length of 28 centimeters. You could use this as a scale. Um, now the displacement, the vertical displacement between the fourth and the fifth frame then is 9.6 centimeters. And the time taken is 0 0.033 seconds, which is the time we determined earlier using the frames per second. You can't just use any video you like. There are some requirements to your video. First, there shouldn't be any panning, as you can see in this clip. If there's panning, then the object doesn't appear to move at all. It's the background that moves and the object is stationary. There also shouldn't be any zooming in or out, as you can see in this clip. When you zoom in or out, you change the scale of your object, and it appears to move faster or slower because it appears to cover more distance in the same amount of time. And there shouldn't be any perspective distortion. So you should make sure that the object moves in front of the camera at a fixed distance. It shouldn't move towards or away from the camera. Again, this would change the scale of your object. And it is wise to use a tripod, because then the camera is stationary and doesn't tremble too much, so it increases the quality of your video. These are the principles of the video analysis. Uh, you could do it by hand, but that's a lot of work, so it's better to use software for video analysis. In a couple of other videos I'll introduce you to two pieces of software for video analysis. The first is Viana, which is an app for the iPad, and the second is Coach7, which is produced by a Dutch company, but it's internationally available, and Coach is available for the iPad or Android devices and also desktop computers.